everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3. Today I want to show you guys how to create this Freddy synth. Now the reason why I call it the Freddy synth instead of Golden Freddy is because this is a more polished version of the sound. And so I really want to show it off to you guys. So sit back, take a listen, and then I want to guide you on the process of creating this wonderful synth. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, throw in a combinator. And to get that wah wah we song, yeah, that's right, I said it. I said it, I said it. Anyways, throw in Thor and open her up. For the first analog oscillator, we're gonna change this to a wavetable. And we're going to set it to 10 signs in order to get that wah wah. That's mo mainly the uh, position. That does that. Take it down one octave and take off your filter one. Now for your second analog oscillator, we're going to choose a analog oscillator and we're going to take this down two octaves and set it to a sine wave. Now from the amplitude modulation from oscillator two, this little slider right here, I'm only going to take that not up all the way, but to 84. This kind of creates somewhat of a little bit of a ringing feel. This will come into play once we start to morph the position knob. So turn on your LFO1 key sync and tempo sync. And you want to take your rate from 2-4 to 6-4. Give it a little bit more time to open up. Okay, cool. So we're going to throw on a delay and take the time way down way 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 down to about 15 milliseconds and turn up your dry wet to a little bit more than halfway this will kind of increase and give it some more spacey feeling i'll show you yeah just take a listen on when i move this up it gets a little bit of a wider feeling you can also take down the amount of your mod and the same thing for your feedback as well. Okay, cool. So I'm going to throw up my attack and sustain all the way. But for your attack, just raise it up a little bit. Same thing for your release. You don't want to get these too far out. Otherwise, we're going to be going more into a pad and losing interest in our sound. We don't want that. So I'm going to take my attack a little bit more down. Same thing for the release. I just want this to be kind of like a short stab, but not, not cut off like instantly. That's cool. So for the mod or the mod bus down here, change it to LO for one for the amount, 100, and you want it to set oscillator one position. And there you have your pretty much your Freddy synth. But we're not quite done. I'm just going to beef it up some more. Throw on pulverizer and we can close this. We don't need the inside of the synth anymore. Turn up your squash to about 24 and your dirt a little bit more than halfway. Kind of give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to throw on a scream 4. This will give us more distortion. I want to take it to tube for the distortion type and the damage to about 38. Turn up your P1 to 85 and your P2, you want this to be at 46. When I turn on the body, this is going to really shape the sound and give it the more clean effect. So turn on your body and you want your scale to be halfway and the same thing for your auto. But for the type, we're not going to choose type A. That sounds a little bit too much. We're going to turn it to type E. And as you can hear, it gives it a lot more depth in the lower end. This is what really creates that Freddy growl pop. Yeah. 
You can really hear it when you go down one octave. Pretty damn cool. So I'm gonna throw on a maximizer, take it off limiter, put release to auto, turn on your soft clip, and set it to full. So, yep, there's your Freddy synth, and I'll check you guys out tomorrow for a super special Sunday. Thanks for joining me, and yeah, have a good one. Peace. Hey y'all, it's Jordan, so I wanted to say thanks for watching that video. It really does mean a lot to me. Today I've had kind of like a revelation in what I should be teaching you guys. Uh, tutorials are nice and all, but it's not really that engaging. And I'm going to try my best to give you guys something different. Um, I've noticed that with a lot of the things that I do, um, it's very introspective. And so when I learn a lot of these new tools and everything, it's very hard to understand what's the best approach in learning some of this stuff. Because I really want to cut straight like a hot knife through butter. I want to give you guys the fastest information but also to to make sure that it's it's well invested you know what I mean uh, things don't mean the, quite the same way unless it, it has like a story or merit or weight or whatever to it I've been trying to do that with my music recently and it's it's a tough thing <laughs> so yeah I just want to let you guys know that this content is morphing into something else and it's going to continue to morph and it's going to continue to spill over in a lot of different areas so i wanted to say thanks for sticking with me you know it's a tough process to do this every day and i just want to say thank you guys so much yeah and i'm not trying to insult you or anything but where i come from this is a good good job that's just what that means Anyways, have a good one. I hope you guys have a very introspective day today. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Have a good one. Peace.